The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, we're mastering some tracks using Ableton plugins. The tracks that I have are three different styles of music, a trap song, an R&B song, and an EDM song, and we're going to be using the brand new Master Sauce preset that is a pre-made mastering chain simplified down into eight controls. So I'm going to drop Master Sauce up here on the first song. Now this track is from my previous upload, which I'll link to in the description, and I make this entire beat from Ableton stock sounds using Ableton stock plugins, and then record and process the vocal with lead vocal sauce. But today I have a pre-master bounced out, leaving enough headroom so that nothing clips. There ended up being about four decibels between the loudest parts and clipping, um, but I don't really pick a specific number when I bounce out a pre-master. So long as it's not clipping, you're good to go. So let's take a listen to this without the master sauce on it first. Master sauce. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Now, as you can see, these knobs are not at zero. There already have been values chosen for the preset position. And these are kind of a ballpark of where you're going to want to use it, which is why I put it here. I'm going to loop a part of the track with the 808 going, and we're going to just dial in some low cut frequency position. Like it ain't loops, my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Yeah, Might do it just under 40, maybe 38 for the song because it's in kind of a low key. And now on Thump, we can accommodate for our bass being cut out by adding some more back in. And you'll see as you decrease the thump, it's almost like you're increasing the volume of everything else in your song, the vocals and the beat and everything else, like a tilty cue. Like really Let's go on to the next one, the stereo low cut. Now this is where you're gonna pull a lot of clarity into your mix because you don't really need a lot of the stereo information below a certain frequency range. The default was somewhere in the 150 area. We can bump it up for this one. It's kind of muffled sounding. No, I don't eat a lot of fruit. Bring it back in. And all my vegetables organic too. So watch me meditate like Buddha do. And if you don't know, you should get a clue. Now we can dial in a little bit of brightness into this song. By default, there's already a little bit added, but we can probably push it a little further. And now warm is going to be an overall saturation on your entire mix. Take it out. Back in. The little bit of distortion really helps add some power without adding volume. So depending on how much I put in the mix itself, uh, like I didn't do too much distorting when I produced this song, so I can get away with full blast on the warm knob. All right, now it's time for the sauce knob. This is going to be a power knob kind of mixed with a brightness knob. Not quite compression or EQ, but a little bit of both. Like it ain't 
sauce, yeah, I got the sauce Fucking tickets from the fake cops Haters acting like they don't watch me But they be looking like a photocopy No, I don't eat a lot of fruity loops I'm gonna bump up the sauce from the default position before it was down below 20. And I think I want a little bit more sauce than that. So I'm gonna push it up to about 40, but you gotta be careful because you don't want your mix to be all sauce um, and you don't want it to be all spaghetti. You know, you kind of want a good mix between spaghetti and sauce. So for this song, I uh, found 40% worked pretty well. Now, glue is really going to push forward the center of your mix. Sauce kind of works across the whole thing. Glue really focuses on the center. So let's see if we can bring out uh, what kind of sticks out in your face a little bit more. Whole loops copping my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real spot. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Got the sauce, yeah, got the sauce. Fucking tickets from the fake cops. Haters acting like they don't watch me. But they be looking like a photocopy. Does your master chain sound a little weak sauce? Do your tracks lack organic flavor and quality? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Master Sauce, our organic blend of Ableton effects that'll get your master so crispy you might never use another plug-in chain again. Master Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. And now for the final knob, we're gonna go and decide how far we can push it until it sounds best. Like it ain't nothing. Whole loops copping my percussion. Tell me if I ain't the real puppet. Dang, I think I really on the sun. Got the sauce, yeah, got the sauce. Fucking tickets from the fake cops. Haters acting like they don't watch me. But they be looking like a photocopy. No, I don't eat a lot of fruity loops. And all my vegetables organic too. So watch me right around 20, 22. And if you don't know, you should get a clue. Let's drop Master Sauce on visual. This is a track I produced for Kara that came out recently. This one has a bit more headroom. I ended up choosing a low cut just above where the default position was. I felt like the mix kind of had a lot of bass, so I pulled a little bit of the thump out, and that way I was able to pull back some of the brightness because I felt like the bass was really eating the top end. 
on the stereo low cut because it was just a sub down there we were able to push it up pretty high without chopping into the rest of our music production but that's usually what i'm listening for is like okay we still hear the sub the same and now all the keys and synths and things are starting to get thin so i pull it back so we're really just affecting the sub so i had kept it around 234 I felt like there was a lot of harmonics and distortion in the mix already, so I didn't end up using any of the warm and just a tiny little bit of the sauce. And for glue, I pushed it up so that it was at the same volume as the dry signal. And for gain out, we were able to push it pretty high because we were running our mix pretty quiet and I wanted it to be aggressive. The next thing that we're going to master is an EDM track. And this is Lookout Weekend, a track that I re actually released a couple of years ago. saucy. Check it out. It's without the sauce. And with the sauce. Let me look at the volume. It's more of the same. But we're using the sauce to turn this thing on. So for this song, we ended up low cutting it pretty much where the default setting was again. That ended up being the perfect balancing spot. There was a lot of low end in the production on this one again, so I pulled the thump back just a little bit more and that helped me keep this really high output gain. At first when the drop hit, it was a little bit distorted because we had way too much low end, but without having to sacrifice any of the volume, I was able to boost up all I was able to boost up this one and this one and pull back this one a little bit. That way we could keep our volume. And I didn't add too much brightness to this one either. Usually I do add some brightness, but I felt like this one was actually pretty good where I, where it uh, just was in the mix. I added all the warmth I could get just to make this as crunchy as possible. 25% on the sauce, about one and a half decibels louder with the glue signal than the dry signal. And for the gain out, we pushed it almost all the way up to 50 on this knob. And uh, that's not 50 decibels, obviously. It just gives you a value between zero and 127. So I had gotten it up to 47 on this one. So there you have it. That is my guide to using the master sauce here inside of Ableton. If you'd like to pick up your copy, it's available now at wholeloops.com. You can get it with lead vocal sauce as the sauce bundle for 20% off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.